Matthew Capucci is also getting into the holiday spirit. He joins us now with a special forecast. Let's hear it. That I certainly do. All right, let's go for it. Twas the night before Christmas, and a massive winter storm was dropping precipitation of wet and white forms. At present, the low is in Montreal, but behind it, in its wake, air temperatures fall. Friday, we awoke over 40 degrees. Then came changing winds that toppled some trees. A cold front storm threw with an icy Arctic blast. By noontime, our temperatures started falling fast. Now, today, our weekend starts well below freezing. At last, though, our blustery winds are easing. We'll sit on the edge of our low to the north, which will keep our flow dry and westerly henceforth. That means our forecast is just sunny and cold. Highs peak in the lower 20s, all told. Potomac Highlands, only teens far north and west, and Cumberland, single digits, so stay nice and dressed. 45. So now, why is it so frigid? There's actually, oh wait. Now, why is it so frigid? There's actually a reason. It's anomalously cold even for the season. NOAA's high split model tracks parcels of air. It simulates their forecast tracks and from where. This air mass began last week in Siberia, meeting all the conditions of Arctic criteria. Then it passed east over the Bering Strait before sliding south into the lower 48. In Montana, readings down to 40 below. Strong winds added atop freshly fallen snow. Ground blizzard warnings are in effect until noon. Thereafter, conditions will improve quite soon. Lake effect snows continue in New York State. They'll accumulate three or four feet in this three-day long spate. Bitter cold air blows down the warm lakes. Bands of heavy snow is what that moisture makes. Closer to home, a night dangerously brumal. Shelters should be opened across our communal. Lows in D.C. dropping down to the middle teens. A danger for the unhoused is what that cold means. For Sunday, highs only... Sierra, scroll the prompter. For Sunday, highs only reach the middle 20s, but closer to 10 in the Alleghenies. I don't get out of bed if the temperature's less than my age, which isn't really looking promising right now at this stage. On Monday, we watch a trough of low pressure, which means unsettled weather if you need a refresher. It starts out west, but dies on approach. Maybe a flurry, though the mountains probably won't broach. Thereafter, a high will form over the plains. It builds southeast as our frigidness wanes. Temperatures will moderate towards midweek. On Tuesday, 40 degrees will be our peak. Our seven-day forecast shows even milder air. 50s Thursday onward, and our sky is clear and fair. The next chance of rain, not until New Year's Day. And the pattern favors warmth that may try to stay. And by the way, I'm a finalist for Weather Person of the Year. If you know me and you like me, then the choice is pretty clear. If you'd go online and vote, that would be nice and Gucci. For Fox 5, I'm meteorologist Matthew Capucci. Yay! Go, Matthew! Great job. And I love how you Thank got you. Gucci in there. I awesome. Tried. People should definitely vote for Capucci. you. The only thing that rhymes with Capucci. Love it. Love it. Great job. Well, thank you, thank you. And thank you for scrolling. Much appreciated. <laughs>